how to change default product Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how we can change the default product settings on a Shopify. This is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. And the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to shopify.com and the second thing is to connect your account or sign in to your account. It is very easy if you don't have an account. Also, it is easier to make an account on Shopify. Select three plans and then you have to add the products. As you can see here, I have added my products. Now, the second thing that you need to do or you need to know is what is the change of the default product. It is very simple. Follow me to let you see how uh, this is working. In our Shopify store, everything is set under the default product. When you add a product, it will be set as default. For example, when you click on this sweater, you have here everything uh, from the images, uh, from the title, description. Here we have the add to cart button description right here. Here we have a setup the customer views and here we have the reviews of that product and also you may like this is the suggestions or the recommended product here when you see that on the shirt or the sweater right here you will see this example or this template for all the products as you can see here even for the 3d pirate camp i have also the custom reviews and you may also like and etc i'm going to let you see a third option for example on this ring when you click on it you will see the ring everything is the same nothing is changed customer views you may so you may also like here we are going to differentiate these products so we can go ahead and add some sections for particular products and not for others and to do that we are going to the online store under the sales channels select the theme and then we are going to click on so the, so the selected theme or the current theme click on customize and then the editor will be opened right here i am going to let you see how we can add uh, this option and then how we can add the products to this option here the uh, theme is going to load up it will show here the home page right here. Now everything is set up. We can see home page. When you click on it, it will drop down a menu. And for the products, you click on it. We have a default product, which contain all of our products. And we have some custom uh, products that we have or custom templates that we have made. All you have to do here is to scroll down until you see create template. You are going to click on create template. Then we are going to name this template. I'm going to put, for example, custom, custom like that, custom sweater, sweater. And here we have it. The based on you have to set it as for the default product. I'm going to create this template and you will see that is nothing is assigned to that product. For example, we have here custom sweater assigned to zero product i am going to modify this section let's go here to the we are on the custom product you can go ahead and assign something right here i'm going but before that i'm going to click on save then i'm going to exit that i'm going to assign the product first then we are going to customize it here we are going to products here i'm going to select the product that i want to assign to that particular um page that we have created or the section let's see here winter shirt maybe i will click on that product and then here we have the product title description media category sizes and everything and the most important thing here it is the theme template you click on here it will drop down a menu we are going to select the uh, section or the template that we have just created. It is named custom sweater. Click on it and it will be assigned to that particular page. Click on save and it is saved. We are going back here to the online store. We are going to click on customize again and we will be guided to the store editor. Click on home products. Here we have the custom sweater assigned to one product. 
click on it and here we have the winter shirt that we have added or assigned to this page as you can see here we have the standard looking theme or sections you can go ahead and create your own sections but it will be dependent or independent from the uh, other sections or other products that means it will be dependent to only this uh, section that we have created which is called custom sweater and uh, the sections that you will add here will not appear on the others I'm going to delete that review page for example here I'm going to delete that I don't need it also the related products you can go ahead and uh, let it here it is a standard you can go ahead and hide it also for this uh, widget I'm going to remove that widget and only I will uh, add something else let's go ahead and add a section here we have a multi column you can go ahead and modify uh, add a multi column for example for uh, testimonials for reviews you can add some uh, pictures I will let you see here some pictures let uh, this one slide with this on the second column I will put another picture like that and for the third one let's go ahead and add another uh, image like this one and here we have the description you can put here for the heading uh, sweater 2 and here we have woman for example woman choice woman choice like that and here for this one we have um, to put lighter lighter choice lighter choice and finally we have the description you can go ahead and put the description and also we can link all of these columns to a certificate or a uh, custom product or a custom page it is up to you for example and you can add some other blocks let's see here what uh, are the modification that we have made click on save and then we are going simply to view the product everything is saved click on exit here as you can see on this product it is set as random we have the custom reviews the you may also like now let's go to the products go back scroll enter we see our winter shirt here click on view on online store and we will be seeing the the sections here we have the uh, sections not updated already I'm going to uh, wait for moments right here to be adding these after I have refreshed the page you can see here we have the winter shirt we have here the multi column and we have the sweaters and the images when you click on one of these images it will take you to the sweater for example this is the sweater I'm going back here it will take you normally to the same page uh, and until you link them to other pages from the store for example like that you can go ahead and put this one I'm going to make a link for it let's uh, go and put this one to the blocks it will take us to the blocks which is the news click on save here I'm going back in the page or the product page let you see here the demonstration when you click on this image normally it will take you to the blog and the news that was all for today's video I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and learn how to differentiate these uh, type of uh, default products and hope to see you soon on the next one